Break down the head to head matchup in today's game. And Sean, which matchups are you looking forward to the most as this game unfolds? Well, the matchup I'm most excited about. Uh -huh. Week two, Malik Neighbors. He oh kinda, my goodness! He kind of went at St. Juice, so it's about St. Juice and, week, uh, and Malik Neighbors. Yeah, he had 18 attempts. Yeah. he caught 10 passes for 127 yards. Right now, our defense is much better. St. Juice has been playing unbelievable, mm -hmm. and we can't let him dance. You did a little shimmy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. With a stop and move, yeah, like, stop like MC move. Hammer back in the day. I, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't let him get off. Mm -hmm. He's their threat on offense. We have to be able to contain it, and I think St. Juice will match up again today against him, and it'll be a much better outcome. Wow. Okay. All right. And and, and on def on the defensive side of the ball with the uh, with the Giants and their defense, um, without Brian Robinson, yes, stopping that run or going up against our running game, that could be an issue for us. Yeah. When you you know Dexter Lawrence was already mm -hmm. a problem. They got everybody needs to know that he, where he's at at all times because he can stop the run. Mm -hmm. So you needed a hammer. So right. we got to figure out. You're going to have to make some tough runs. You're going right. to get some contact, and you're going to have to make some yards after contact. Right. So Eckler today and Nichols today, those guys got to go out there, and they got to run tough. They got to run physical. Mm -hmm. But we also got to get on the edge because we have speed guys. And not that Brian wasn't a speed guy. Right. He had 133 yards. Obviously, he had success right. week two. But we got to have that continued success. We can't have fall off just because he's not in the game. Right. Okay. All right. All right. We're looking forward to that. All right. You know what? Two days before the election, and, and the people have spoken. Up next, your vote on if the Commanders will hold the Giants to under 16 points today. All right, we have tons of Commanders content airing on WUSA 9 and WUSA 9 Plus Thursday nights at 7. Chick and Simone D'Alba highlight stories that don't involve the action on the field. This Thursday, we're going to introduce you to the team's executive chef for uh, Connor McGuire and his staff. The meals they provide the entire team are a critical part of their success because if you eat well, well, you play well. What they eat really contributes to their longevity. We want to give them lean proteins, a lot of chicken, um, and you know some leaner steaks we can do as well. Tune in for Marcella Robertson's behind the scenes look at what it takes to feed the burgundy and gold this Thursday night on Commanders Weekly. All right, WSA 9 Plus is the place to be before and after every Commanders game. Right after this show is the official Commanders pregame show. And after the game, watch the Commanders postgame show with live reaction from head coach Dan Quinn and quarterback Jaden Daniels. You can watch it all on WSA 9 Plus. Buying or selling is sponsored by Coons Automotive. All right, we want to get back to buying or selling right now. And this is the uh, game day scenario we were telling you about. The Commanders will hold the Giants to 15 or fewer points. Once again, Commanders Nation, you are bullish on this. 81% of you say you are buying. Yes. 19% of you are selling. You think the Commanders will give up at least 16 points today. All right. Time now for the final thoughts before we uh, send things uh, back out to Northwest Stadium. All right, Sean, we're going to start with you with your final thoughts. Can't take the Giants lightly. They are a, a conference. This is conference play. They're going to come out tough, fighting hard. Um, we talked about getting after Daniel Jones. We saw Newton. We need the big guys up front. We cannot lose the momentum that we, we captured at the end of the Chicago game. Let's go out, do what we need to do, take care of business, beat them at home. They're 0-6. Let's make them 0-7. Right. Okay. All right. Hopefully uh, Tyrone Tracy won't be playing today, but yep. if he is, we got to call Tyrone <laughs> and tell him to go away because last week he had 145 yards against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We don't want that. We don't want that again, Chick. We don't want no Tyrone. <laughs> Chick Hernandez. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. By the way, I got to correct myself. I thought the buying and selling was 200 yards passing. That's my bad. 15 <laughs> points. I don't think they get it. Uh, and the other note that I want to correct myself on is Daniel Jones, zero touchdowns, eight interceptions in his last six home starts. That has not happened, by the way, since Trent Dilfer, what I was talking about back in 1995 96. Listen, guys, no B Rob. We get that. Jaden Daniels has been very good and is a weapon with his legs and his arm and his brain. He has shown that time and time again. And this is the type of game with a pass rush. He's going to face the best pass rush he's faced all season long. Dexter Lawrence is no joke with nine sacks. 35 sacks leads the NFL. But he's that kind of guy, this quarterback, who feels that pressure and makes people pay. And without B-Rob in that backfield, I got a feeling that Jaden Daniels, sore ribs and all, will make them pay again. Commanders, Giants coming up. Full postgame coverage coming your way on WUSA 
nine for Wisdom Martin, Sean Springs, and B. Mitch. I'm Chick Hernandez. Thanks for watching Commander's Kickoff. We'll see you next week.